I'm officially a Barbie girl living in a Barbie world and it's fantastic. Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Maggie and the only thing I love more than makeup is Barbie movie. On July 21st, when cinema history will be changed forever, I of course will be in the movie theater with my Barbie approved outfit ready to rock and roll. I in fact have two AMC passes that I've saved for this so I can see the Barbie movie twice. Now while I am a Barbie fashionista and have studied Barbie fashion for years, I am totally ready with my look. I do need to make sure that my makeup is on point. Obviously. It's the Barbie premiere. I, I'm not going to show up with just eyeliner and mascara. This is not amateur hour. This is Barbie hour, and it demands the finest. Side note, did anyone see on Twitter like the difference between the promotion of the Barbie movie and the Oppenheimer movie? And um, somebody commented like, do you want an Oppenheimer palette? Well, now that you mention it, kind of? But like not related to the plot or anything, just related to Christopher Nolan movie tropes. Like one shade will be called, I can't hear the dialogue. The other shade will be called, clunky dialogue as exposition. The other shade will be called third act string crescendo during plot trist reveal. <laughs> like, I don't know, that would actually be really fun. They're not gonna do it, but it's the thought that counts. Now, I don't know if you know this, but we live in a capitalist society. So of course, every brand and their mother is coming out with a Barbie collection. Now, I know what you're thinking. Maggie, did you buy all of these collections just to tell me which ones I should go for as well? <laughs> in this economy? No. Instead, I dug through my eyeshadow collection to see which palettes I already had that fit, at least in my opinion, the Barbie aesthetic. And as I apply this beautiful eyeshadow, I can then begin my several months campaign to get Ryan Gosling the Best Supporting Actor nomination for Barbie. Because he was robbed. He's been robbed several times, most notably Lars and the Real Girl, which I will die mad about, but... It would be pure camp if you won, and I will see to it. <laughs> so I did dig through and find some palettes. Some of these were limited edition or no longer available. Some you can still get, but honestly, this is just me saying dig through your own collection, find something pink and fun, and wear it to the Barbie premiere with me. So come on Barbie, let's go party. Let's dive into the palettes that I found. Now, one of the big ones uh, that comes with a disclaimer is ColourPop's Sonic Bloom. You remember when ColourPop used to be colorful? This was their last example. I will, big disclaimer, I did modify this. I changed a few shades. I have a whole video on it that I will link up above. But the hot pink shades and the other fun colors that you see, those are original to the palette. Except for the blues. Those were added by me. But I do feel like this is a really fun, colorful example of incorporating a little pop of pink into a neutral color story. If you're wanting to just kind of dip your toes into the pink world of Barbie, this is a great way to do it. So if you have this palette, it's time to dig it out. Another gone but not forgotten brand, Kylab Beauty had the Le Jardin palette and like, Hello, fun springtime Barbie look. Well, it's summer, but still. Um, we have some bright pinks, some beautiful intense greens and purples. I think this is a super fun Barbie appropriate look, and you could do a lot with this. You could really go beyond the pinks and put together a fun and colorful look that would be perfect for the premiere. So again, if you have this palette, it's time to dig it out. Do it for Barbie. Okay, this next one, I have to be honest, I picked partially for the pinks, but also, like, the packaging. It's Ken, kind of. This could be Ken. This is a version of Ken we've never seen before. It's great. Um, this is the Will Powder Quad from The Balm, a blush and highlighter palette. They all have um, varying degrees of shimmer. Perfection, right? You could do, like, the bubblegum pop, and then this is a highlighter. I've also used these as eyeshadow and been very pleased. Just keep in mind they are extremely shimmery. It's wonderful. And then you've got like a little checklist of um, all the traits that Will can bring to a relationship. It's like the version of he's just Ken. It's great. It's camp. I love it. Now for the blush that I am actually wearing, this is the Twinkle Pop Trio. This is in the shade O Pinkful and like, let's be real, this alone is Barbie packaging. It's got the glitter, even the name Twinkle Pop just makes me think of Barbie. But then you open it up and you're like, oh, hello, pink. Um, I have this shade on my cheeks. I love it. It's very shimmery and very fun. I have also used this as eyeshadow and also really enjoyed it. So if you want a monochromatic look using just one product, this would be an excellent one. 
and it is so cute and so twee. I do really like it, so would highly suggest. And finally, let's talk about the eyeshadow that I have on my eyeballs right now. So I feel like you guys can already guess. Leave guesses in the comments. Three, two, one, Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. It really is so perfect for this, if I can get it open. Yay, I did it! Okay, friendly reminder, that goopy shade I replaced, I did a whole video on it, you already know that, but I basically used this shade in the crease and then this on the lid. This one is gorgeous, it has a little bit of a duochrome flip to it. It's kind of sheer, so what I would suggest is just layering this matte on the lid and then applying this on top, but you've got a lot of beautiful, textured, duochrome pinks to work with that you can also pair with some neutrals to kind of tone it down a little bit. A lot of these shades are very fun and sparkly, which is very Barbie, and I don't know, it's just a beautiful palette. I feel like it works for just about any season, but especially, especially for the Barbie movie premiere. This scarf is also a part of my outfit. My mom got it for me, and then when I told her I was going to wear it to the Barbie movie, she was like, okay, I think it's gorgeous. I think it'll be great, and it's so comfy. Is it weird wearing a scarf in the summer? No one answered that question. But anyways, folks, those are my suggestions for Barbie movie eyeshadows. You do not have to buy from these collections that are coming out left, right, and center. If you do, that's fine. Me personally, I am saving all of my money so I can stay at the Barbie Malibu Dream Home which I plan to. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any Barbie-esque eyeshadow palette recommendations, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic Barbie-filled day. And um, if you're going to the premiere, <laughs> hope to see you there. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.